Hello again. Now, Echegwini Mayor Mkolisi Kaunda says he does not have a personal relationship with former President Jacob Gedlechegi Sazuma. Kaunda has defended his messages supporting the former president prior to last July's unrest. He's been giving evidence into the July unrest in KwaZulu Natal and Gauteng that resulted in widespread violence and looting. Kaunda was grilled earlier by the South African Human Rights Commission about his social media posts. More than 340 people died as a result of the violence, which lasted for several days. The majority of the deaths were in KwaZulu-Natal, and the riots came just days after the incarceration of the former president. The Eteguini mayor is among leaders who've openly supported Zuma. Kaunda has been asked about his messages on Facebook, where he called for Zuma to be freed. As a leader, I could not see anything wrong for me to say, I am Sholo, we am Sholos, and Sholos is us, and free Zuma. With the benefit of hindsight, do you think this was a wise thing to do, given uh, the incidents of looting and violence that were involving at the time uh, uh, when you posted this? And I said earlier, on the one hand, your premier on the same day says, or calls for discipline and for protesters to express their anger through peaceful means. And you, on the other hand, as the executive mayor of, it, of, of, of Etequini, but in your private capacity, you post that we are Msholozim, Msholozis as free Zuma. Um, with the benefit of hindsight, given the tensions that prevailed at the time, the violence, the looting, do you think this was um, a responsible thing to do as a public figure who also holds public office? The danger may be isolating this post with other posts which I've made on the 6th of July. Once you isolate this post, there will be something big wrong there. But once you also include this post and beyond this, uh, the post which I've been uh, posting as, a, as an individual leader, which is to calm people down. Even prior to some of the incidents, the statements I've made here on the 6th of July, we're saying let us not also allow people who are opportunists to hijack the call. Because when you're a leader, you, you, you traverse a terrain uh, where sometimes if there's nothing wrong that people are saying, we must acknowledge it. There's nothing wrong of freeing Zoom as there was nothing wrong of Zuma must fall. <laughs> so, so there's nothing wrong at all. Yeah. Because there were those who said Zuma must fall, there's now those who are saying free Zuma. So I don't see any, anything unbecoming. But if you look at this statement in isolation, uh, you may then view it as something which uh, insulted violence, yeah. which I do not think is correct. Yeah. They're giving evidence at the South African Human Rights Commission's hearings into, July, into last July's unrest.